hey guys so in this video now we will talk about flex page so flex page is basically um it includes row column and uh, stack but uh, at the same time it has few more things so the first widget which i want to talk about here is a uh, vx block so vx block is inspired from how uh, actually um uh, maybe you have seen using widgets like uh, uh, i don't know if you know about block widget so if you will prefer uh, tailwind css or any css framework then you will see blocks so now let's say um i want uh, a vx box over here and let's say i say i'm inside vx block okay and i can call it text dot make and at the same time i can say box dot uh, uh let's say blue 300 and dot make so now you will see we will see something like this and let's also give this vx block some padding so we can say padding so padding is basically guys you can use this pxpy already told you so it will give padding of p16 or which means 16 padding from all sides so as you can see this block means it will take the entire width okay so that's the purpose of vx block so let's say if you have multiple widgets let's say i'm inside vx block uh, and i am two inside vs blocks then you can see these are the blocks which we are making and uh, similarly we can have a third block which is saying the same thing so that's a um um that's the advantage of vx block if you will use row normally so you will see uh this is how it looks in row and uh, if you will use column then you will see how it looks in column but uh, vx block is actually different it shows something like this then there is another thing which is vx inline block so inline block is again inspired from tailwind css so when you say inline box uh inline block it actually works similarly how um things work in uh, you know uh normally with uh, the row uh, the row so row is basically the same thing in this case but yeah sometimes you might uh, use vx inline block uh, because uh, if you will go to tailwind css website so inside there you will see that it is actually so this this particular thing is also uh, inheriting flex and then uh, setting the direction as horizontal and then uh, cross axis and main axis alignment are start by default so yeah that's what it is doing to be honest it's nothing else so yeah this these are the two widgets which are different and now uh, let's let's also try let me just try to see or, sh or like saw you um this in a different uh, way so yellow 300 so yeah this is how it actually looks in um in this case okay now uh, we use rows and columns a lot right uh, but let's say what happens is uh, uh, most of the time we use a lot of boilerplate so for rows you can use h stack in vs code oh sorry in uh, velocity x and it works the same you just have to give a uh, list so this is how we will give a list and yes you are good to go and it has all the uh, properties which you have with rows let's say alignment axis size cross axis alignment and keys keys are always there so yeah and let's say if you want to use column you can use a v stack which is basically like this so it's a column but it's a short uh, way of writing it and then if you want to use uh, z stack z stack is basically normally stack in um in uh, normal flutter application so now it's on top of each other so if you will let's say if i remove this one then you will see two if i remove this one as well then you will see one so yeah so these are on top of each other and if i'll give them little padding then you might be able to see and yes so yeah this is actually working fine so yes so this is how you can see the stack and guys uh one uh the good part about uh, uh velocity x is that this this is not how you can only write it there are multiple ways you can write it so if i if i just copy this list from here so uh, basically you can make a list so let's remove all of them 
and you can make a list and then at the end you can just say uh, let's say v stack so vertical stack it, it is there similarly you can say z stack and then you will see z stack and then you will say h stack and you can get h stack okay but yeah obviously there is some issue with this so in that case you can say let's say scroll horizontal so that you won't see this issue and now you can scroll here so scroll horizontal similarly if you are using v stack then now we have a scroll vertical as well guys so yeah you can see so yeah this this is again a great way of uh, using this um, and uh, you can see this is just a list right and you can if you are using something like this then what else uh, would be better right so yeah that's about uh, how easy it is to write um, you know um, flexes over uh, velocity x and now um, there are some inbuilt lists also which comes with velocity x so i'm gonna uh, show you that as well so uh, for list let's say this is a vertical stack i'm assuming and uh, let's remove this part as well let's give it some padding so velocity x comes with a, a velocity vx disk list so disk list is basically having a disk uh, kind of circle on like with every item it takes a list of string so basically you can say item one and you can say item two and so yeah item one then should be comma and then item two and it should be comma and item three and now you can see this is how a disk list look like so uh, it, it is like having a disk over here so this is how it looks like and then you can give it some color if you want so let's say if we give it uh, something like a green 300 then you can see the color has changed uh, it's not visible so let's make it 700 and yes this is how it looks like and at the same time if you want to increase the font size you can call it let's say 40 so if you are making a tutorial something in html css or flutter web then you can definitely use it it is very uh, easy to use then if let's say it is asking for padding so now it takes edge insets geometry so for that you can use vx dot uh, it has different paddings and you can use them using m so um, we can say mh m and uh, there are many other properties mv12 so let's say i want to give 12 padding from all sides so m12 and you can see the padding okay so similarly if i copy this uh, we have something called a decimal list as well so this is how you uh, you know work with the uh, html as well so decimal list has this numbers one two three you can see i haven't specified this number these are not these numbers so let's say it is a and let's say it is b and let's say it is c then also it will have these numbers and let's say if i enter another field here then uh, it will be item d so this is how it works so yeah you can see that uh, now uh, this is how we will write a uh, vx decimal list and disk list and uh, v stack z stack and all these things so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video